Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to graph the solution to this two variable linear inequality. So we have y is greater than or equal to x minus four. And I want you to go ahead and graph the solution. Okay, so if you think you could do this problem, now you can not put your answer into the comment section because it is in fact a graph, but uh, put into the comment section that you know exactly how to do this problem and you know maybe you got the right answer, but put some feedback into that comment section uh, stating that you know you kind of know you know how to do this or not. Now, what would be interesting is if you can actually put the procedure down uh, on how to do a problem like that. So maybe that's a good thing to put into the comment section. Of course, I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. Then I'm going to fully explain this problem. Now, if you're at the uh, pre-algebra, algebra one level, this is pro a uh, problem that you're certainly going to need to know how to do. And of course, I'll explain it uh, fully in just one second. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video is exciting and helps you out, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the solution to this two variable linear inequality. Of course, the solution will be a graph, and let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So you should have something along these lines right here. Okay, so here is our lovely xy plane, and you have uh, a line, okay? And uh, you can have a couple reference points here. I have negative four, and then this part above the line is shaded, okay? So really, what I should have done is put in the actual linear, uh, linear inequality, y is greater than x minus four, right? So that's really the, uh, the better kind of way to write your final solution. You should always reference this. So again, this is, uh, you know, basic algebra that we're talking about, but this is the uh, answer, okay? Now, of course, if you shaded this in one way or if you have a couple different points, you'll know whether, in fact, you have the right line. It should look something like this. But if you got this correct, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face in A+. Plus a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about a linear inequality. So they'll be so impressed with that information. They might even take you out to lunch. You never know. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. Now, the first thing that you're going to need to know how to do is graph linear equations. Okay, so again, we're talking about basic algebra here, and you should be able to uh, hopefully know how to graph lines, okay? So a line is a linear equation, okay? When we see, um, of course, if I'm speaking graphically, this is a line, the equation to this line would be a respective a linear equation, right? So here's a linear equation. It would have a graph of a line. Notice the word linear that I'm saying, right? Linear, uh, let me go write this out, linear. Okay, just look at the root word, uh, line, right? So a linear equation. Now, but here, we're not dealing with an equation, we're dealing with an inequality. So what do we need to be thinking? Well, what we need to kind of temporarily think about is like, okay, I know this is an inequality, and some of you might be a little bit confused about that. Just think temporarily, all right, if this was an equal sign and I was asked to graph this line, what would I do? Okay, what would I do? Now, hopefully you understand how to do, uh, you know, how to graph a line. And there's various techniques that you could use all right, using uh, the slope intercept form, i.e. y equals mx plus b would be the easiest. By the way, if you need uh, any help with graphing lines, writing the equation of lines, inequalities, all this kind of basic algebra stuff, I have a ton of uh, additional videos on my YouTube channel, uh, but I'll probably direct you towards like my pre-algebra or algebra one course if you truly want to full, uh, fully master this stuff. Okay, so again, first things first, we want to graph the line. Okay, well, temporarily, just think of this as an equation and we'll graph the line or think about the steps required to graph this linear equation, right? Now, there are, there are a couple different, different uh, twists here, but again, this is step number one. So let's go and take a look at that right now. So to graph this line, this linear equation, okay, this has a slope of one. This is our uh, y-intercept, uh, negative four. Again, I'll draw your attention to y equals mx plus b. So this uh, lovely linear equation here is in 
uh, slope intercept uh, form. So I could just go to negative four. That's the y intercept right here. And I know this has a slope of one. So it's rise and run, okay, is one over one positive, right? It's a positive one. So the line's gonna be going upward like so. Okay, so I can just go up one and over one. So I can just have a reference point right there. Now, I'm not asking you to put too much detail on your graph, okay? You should put a couple of additional points, but if you just put like, let's say you turn this into me and I was grading your paper and you had, let's say graph paper and you showed me that, okay, you understand how to graph this line, I'll be okay with it, okay? So anyways, here's this up one over one. So this is going to be our point. Now we're gonna draw our line Okay, sketch our line through these two points. But here is an additional twist to this problem. Now, before we draw our line, okay, at this uh, point, our first step was to kind of get ready to graph this line. We're going to think of this as a line. Now, at this point, we're going to be focusing in on the inequality. Okay, so we're going to now take a good look at the inequality symbol. So anytime you have a greater than, equal to, or a less than or equal to, you're always going to have a solid line. You're always going to uh, sketch or draw a solid line. If you have a greater than or less than, it's going to be a dotted line, okay? Dashed line like so, okay? Now I'll explain uh, why that is, but that's the first, the, this is the second thing you need to keep in mind. You're like, okay, I'm ready to gr uh, actually graph this line, but don't do it yet. Look at the symbol, okay? I'll be like, all right, what inequality symbol do I Oh, it's equal to. So when I do sketch this line, it's going to be a solid line, but oftentimes it will be a dashed line, again, if this is a greater than or less than. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here is my lovely solid line. All right, so that is kind of like the first set of skills. Now, if you don't know how to graph linear equations, of course, you're not going to be able to uh, solve or graph linear inequalities. And it's extremely important that you know how to uh, uh, find the solutions to linear inequalities because you're gonna be doing a ton of this stuff in algebra, systems of inequalities, um, to kind of, you know, there's a ton of problems there. Quadratic uh, inequalities that kind of work similar to, uh, the procedures are kind of similar to this. So you just need to know this, okay? So again, anything you don't understand, make yourself a nice little math shopping list. You're like, oh, you can just like, go to the store. You're like, oh, I need some, uh, water, I got to get some pretzels, I got to get some whatever. So just, you know, like, oh yeah, I need to pick up some skills on how to graph a line. I don't understand this. Just make yourself a list and then go get those skills. That's how you learn anything. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, this stage, what we need to do is determine where is the solution region, okay? So when you're dealing with uh, linear inequalities, two variable linear inequalities, after we graph, a solid or dashed line, what we need to keep in mind is one side of this line or the other is true, the other side is false. In other words, this is either the true um, side and this is the false side, or maybe this is the false side and this is the true side. And what we want to do is shade the true side. Now, what do I mean by true? Well, basically, any point in any one of these regions. Okay, let's take a point here, for example. All right, so we, of course we saw the answer. This is the true side. Uh, any uh, point, any x, y order pair will satisfy this inequality, okay? So I don't wanna get uh, too far ahead of this. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of uh, stress this point here in a second. Okay, so now we need to figure out which is the true side, which is the false side. All we need to do is test one side. So let's go ahead and test uh, this side here, the upper part, the upper part of this line, we'll test the point zero, zero. You always wanna test the point zero, zero because it is the easiest point to test. Now, the only time you don't test this point zero, zero is if, uh, if in fact your line actually crosses through it, okay? So we can't, you know, we'll have to use another point if your line crosses through the origin, okay? But here, this line isn't going through the uh, center, the origin, so we'll just test at zero, zero. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is we're gonna plug in uh, zero for X and zero for Y. We're gonna plug this in into our inequality and we're gonna see what this thing tells us, all right? So we'll plug in, uh, we'll place that Y with a zero and we'll replace this X with a zero. So now we have zero is greater than or equal to zero minus four. 
right? Which simplifies down to zero is greater, greater than or equal to negative four. Now we have to ask the uh, question, is this true or false? Is zero in fact greater than negative four? Okay, so for those of you that are confused, the answer is true. Here's zero, here's negative four. So, you know, uh, think about it this way, right? Of course, zero is a larger value. That might be, it seemed kind of weird, but would you rather have zero dollars or negative four dollars, right? Negative four dollars is, well, not only do you don't have any money, you owe someone else negative, uh, you owe someone else four dollars and you have no money. Or if you have just zero dollars, you don't know anybody, you just don't have any money, right? So, of course, zero is greater than negative four, indicating that, in fact, this is true. Okay, so this point here represents a true uh, statement, which means that any point, any XY point on this side of the line will produce a true statement as well. And now let's kind of go back to the solid line. So what the solid line means is that any point that's actually on the line will also produce a true statement. So if it's a dashed line, points that are on that line are not part of the solution set. Okay, so the final step here is just to uh, uh, shade this side of the line. That's what we call the solution region. And of course, I have my fancy little lovely uh, PC, my tablet uh, here that I can work with. And there you go, there is the solution region. So when you're doing this uh, for your teacher or test or exam, you don't want to like scribble, scratch. You want to be nice and neat. Maybe pick up yourself some, maybe pick up some color pencils. Uh, certainly you'll always want to use pencil. Um, you know, just be super neat, have a ruler, you know, nice and take your time and shade these things. You know, nothing's worse than, uh, you know, turning something into your uh, teacher and it's like a bunch of scribble, like, okay, here they'll be like, you know, they'll be like, hmm, I don't understand what this person's doing. So I'm going to take off like 10 points from their prom. So you don't want to be in that position. If you know what you're doing, you need to, uh, you know, basically demonstrate that you know what you're doing by communicating that by writing nice and neat and showing your teacher, you know, the, your teacher, uh, when you give your paper to your teacher, for example, those of you that are students, remember, how is your teacher, you know, you know, uh, you know, evaluating you? Well, they're reading, right? You're not explaining, you're not recording something on your paper that speaks back and just kind of fills in all the things. And you're like, well, they should know this. I, they, um, I'm assuming they know what I mean here. No, you have to tell the story. So how do you learn how to tell a good math story I, in terms of solutions? Model someone's work. Model your math teacher's work. Model the way I work. Okay, so and you need to build these math habits. Okay, all right. So how are you going to do that? Through practice, right? So it's one thing to watch me do a problem and be like, oh, okay, I get it. Well, unless you practice this, you're not going to develop your skills. Okay, so practice, practice, practice. But hopefully this video helped you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.